Hey, what's going on guys? Justin here from OGN. So I'm finally over that coal, which is a huge plus. So today we're going to look at some more DLC for kills on Shadowfall. Uh, today we're going to look at the Insurgent DLC. You can pick this DLC up for $9.99 US dollars. And it is also included in the Season Pass, which in the long run you save money. So that's uh, the route that I recommend for getting this specific DLC. Now the Insurgent is a whole other class you can play as in multiplayer. Basically, Insurgent starts off with just a pistol at the beginning of the game. Um, it can be the Assault's LS-12 Ripper, it can be the Scout's Reiner, or it could be the, uh, the Support's Judas. Whichever one you like, it doesn't matter. You have them all available at the start. Um, the attachments you have to unlock, but the basic weapon's there. Basically, what has to happen is, when you kill an enemy, or when someone else kills an enemy, or if your own teammate dies or whatever, wherever you manage to find a weapon on the ground, you can pick that weapon up. Now that's your weapon. So when you die, you'll respawn with that weapon. Your ammo won't replenish, but you'll be able to keep that gun. That's how you would go about getting your weapons. Now, to get your abilities, when you either kill an enemy or an enemy kills himself or whatever, if there's a dead enemy on the ground, you run up to him in time before he gets to respawn, you can have the opportunity to steal his abilities. Now, when you steal his abilities, you just hold triangle and you'll take both of your abilities. Or if you just want to take one of the abilities, basically all you have to do is hold left or right on the D-pad to the corresponding ability you want. So let's say you stole an assault class's abilities and you have, you know, let's say it's a nano shield and the speed dash. You kill a support and you just want his spawn beacon, you can do that by just holding down the right D-pad. Now, another great feature of the Insurgent it can be really helpful, especially when you want to just cause chaos on the other team. You can hack abilities. So let's say an enemy puts a turret down. If you manage to get behind that turret, you can hack it. You just have to hold triangle, and you will hack that, and it will become your turret. You can hack three turrets, four turrets. You can have two turrets and a spawn beacon and a knee pulse emitter. It doesn't matter. You can hack any amount of their any amount of their automata, and you can um hack pretty much anything they can put down. The only thing you really can't hack is like, you know, guard drones, drone buddies, and the air support drones. But any piece of automata that's on the ground, you can totally hack and make it for your team. Now, if beating the campaign on hard was too easy for you, you're in luck. Because in the Insurgent Pack, they came out with a new campaign mode called Elite Mode. Basically, it's insane difficulty with three lives to beat the entire campaign. That's right, three lives. You can die three times and you have to start all the way over from the beginning. And also, there is no checkpoints. So when you die, you have to start that whole level over again. Now, if you want to do it legit, go ahead and do it legit. I encourage it. It's pretty fun. It's super difficult, and it's a pain. If you're a trophy hunter and you just want to get it done, go check out my Like a Boss trophy guide. And I'll, got, I'll show you guys a uh, little exploit on how to get that and make it a lot easier for you. Now, back to the multiplayer part of the DLC um, you also get a insurgent automata skin and you also get a insurgent voice pack for both VSA and Hellgast cover me I'm reloading shield active friendly air support drone inbound Another cool feature that the Insurgent Pack has to offer is the online collectibles. Basically, the online collectibles is a golden crate hidden somewhere within the multiplayer maps. They're only in official war zones, so they're only in, like, the Gorilla made ones. So, for example, TDM, Classic War Zone, Extended, and the Weekly Rotational. Basically, all you have to do is shoot it, melee it, hit it with a grenade, any way to do damage with it, and you'll collect the online collectible. Now, they're completely random. They're sometimes they're in the same place twice, but for the most part, there's no guides for them because they could be anywhere. Another feature that you get with this, if you find it, one of the bonuses is a permanent speed boost for the whole game. It's not quite as fast as speed dash, but it's definitely an improvement over how fast you normally would run and walk. You also get a little fiery kind of sparkly trail, wavy trail that kind of like follows you around as you run. That's, you know, lets everyone else in the lobby know that you're the person who found it. Which, I like it. Some people don't like it because it kind of gives them away. I don't think that's true. They're going to see you running anyway. Another fee another bonus you get for finding it is 2,500 points to your in-game score. 
help you achieve that first place position. Now, another bonus you get from finding the online collectibles is you can unlock player card icons. Everything from a player card icon for one, for finding one online collectible and the final player card icon for finding 500 online collectibles. Now also included in this Insurgent expansion are three new spotlight moves. C4, Head Kick, and Finger Breaking. And I'm going to demonstrate the successes and the fails of all three of these spotlight moves. Also included in this pack is three new weapons and three new abilities. It's one weapon and one ability for each of the three existing classes, Assault, Support, and Scout. Um, one class we're going to talk about is the Scout. Their new weapon is the STA-14 Rifle. It's basically the equivalent of the Camerad. Now, the new Scout ability is the Guard Drone. Basically, it's like a buddy drone, except when you deploy it, it just stays in one position. Now the Assault's new weapon is a sidearm, and it's the LS-12 SMG. It's basically an equivalent of like an Uzi. The Assault's new ability is an E-Pulse emitter. Basically, it's like a, it's like your stun blast, except it's an emitter, so every few seconds it'll just pulse, and you can put it in a certain area to prevent any enemies from putting up any automata within that area. The support's new weapon is a fan favorite from previous Killzone games, and is the M82 Assault Rifle. In... Basically, it's the only assault rifle for the support class, and it basically has the equivalent stats of the M55 Rumbler. The new support ability is a tactical echo emitter. It's the equivalent of the tactical echo for the scout class. Basically, every few seconds, it will emit a tactical echo that will show any enemies through any walls or ceilings or floors, and it's actually quite helpful. Alright guys, if you're interested in the 10th Anniversary Expansion Pack, which is more like a DLC, not an expansion pack, but it's for kills on Shadowfall, and if you're interested, you can click on the video at the end of this video. If you want to see some other content for kills on Shadowfall, such as a walkthrough, a collectibles guide, or the complete trophy guide, then you can go to my channel where you can find my kills on Shadowfall playlist. Also guys, don't forget to comment, like, and definitely hit that subscribe button to see when I upload new Kills on Shadowfall videos, as well as first impressions, playthroughs, trophy guides, reviews, and a whole lot more on a bunch of other games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Honor Guard and the Special Forces character skins for both VSA and Hellgast. Now, to match the Honor Guard and Special Forces character skins, there is also a Honor Guard Automata skin and a Special Forces Automata skin.